Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're going to be playing some of the competitive metagame challenge, the weekend event, and we are going to be testing out the Simic Flash deck, uh, or aka don't run into Little Teferi deck and we might have a chance. Um, so this is probably the most, like my play style, I like playing on opponent's turns. I like being able to answer whatever they play. And this is what the deck looks to do. So, Simic, Blue Green, what are we trying to do with this deck? Every single card in the main board can be played on the opponent's turn. Um, so what we have is a number of counter spells and then a number of creatures we can flash in should we not need to. So our counter spell package includes Syncopate, Negate, Essence Scatter, and Sinister Sabotage. Uh, we also, in a sense, have Frilled Mystic that can also operate in a similar condition to be a counterspell. We then have Spectral Sailor. So this is a 1-mana one 1-1 one -one with Flash and Flying. So we can always flash this in and start pressuring our opponent. Late game, it's a mana sink for us to draw cards. We have Opt to draw a card. We have Unsummon, both to protect our creatures and get opponent's creatures out of the way. You can also have the interaction where you can bounce a Frilled Mystic back to your hand and then counter something. Uh, we have Brineborn Cutthroat. So Brineborn is a flash creature that if we play spells on our opponent's turn, which we're going to be doing, uh, it gets a 1-1 counter on it. We also have Merfolk Trickster, which can flash in, tap some stuff, kind of screw up combat. And then we have Nightpack Ambusher. So I really like this card. It's basically play it out and then protect it. Uh, if we don't play a spell on our turn, we get a 2-2 two -two wolf, and it's an anthem for other wolves. Uh, so it's a really cool card. And then the, we're playing an Awakening of Vitu Ghazi. So we can turn one of our lands into a 9-9. Nine -nine. Um, so it's a quick way to close out the game. Uh, so for context purposes, this is Shahar Shenhar. It is... So it's a combination of Martin Yurza and Shahar Shenhar. Getting that name right, not mixing up first and last name. Uh, these are the lists they played at the Fandom Legends tournament. Um, so I'm playing their lists here. Uh, mana base is pretty standard. You got a bunch of Simic lands, missing a Hinderland Harbor, but don't want to craft it. Uh, sideboard, we have Veil of Summer versus like your Esper decks or Grixis. Aether Gust to tuck away some of... The red or green spells, tempo plays, some more negates, thrashing brontodons versus like the nexus matchup, shifting ceratops for mono blue or to fairy, Vivian is good card advantage, and entrancing melody versus like rural decks is usually the where I like to bring it in. So that's the deck. We are gonna be playing this competitive metagame challenge. Uh, it's best of three, so we'll see how long these games go. I'll probably play a couple of them and then finish it offline if it, the decks tend to take a bit longer to play out. So we'll submit that deck and start it up. So as we get started, uh, just quick note, if you haven't done so already, and if you can, uh, subscribing, the little button in the bottom right-hand corner, it's a free and easy way to support the channel. Um, hoping to reach a thousand subs, it helps me out with getting YouTube to actually help contribute to cracking all these wild cards for like budget build series and everything like that. So if you can, it'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, that's enough of that. So this hand here, no play on one, but then probably good otherwise. We got Sabotage on two. They play out an island. Could be a, a number of things. The mono blue matchup's actually probably pretty interesting. So, um... I don't think I mind negate here. So if they have a curious obsession, it's a little rough here. Yeah. So this is an instance of play versus draw. I 
just play that out. I don't want to shock here because it telegraphs that we have a play like this. It just seems we can be on a couple of different things. Opponent plays out another Pteramander. When we run into this matchup first, makes me want it to play mono red. Okay. Um, I don't really want to trade here, so I'm just going to pass the turn. See what they come with. They haven't put on a huge amount of pressure on us yet. Uh, here. I think we just sabotage. Don't want any more lands. This also makes it a 3-2, so attacking starts getting beneficial. Next turn we have the option to either negate and cutthroat or night pack ambusher, depending on what they play out. We also have Ceratops post board, which just laughs at this deck. Bring in the entrancing melodies as well. I've drunk quite a few cards and still haven't hit a land. Tack in here. So, they're gonna trickster block. So that gets them in a trade. So I'm doing this first, so that I can negate and get the counter on it. I was hoping that they passed on the turn without playing anything too impactful. Okay, so they have the spell pierce. Math wise, I don't think we're winning this one. They have us on a two turn clock. We can't really capitalize. If we kept the other one alive, we probably would have been okay. Uh, so in this matchup, Ceratops, some Vivians, Vitugazi doesn't do much. Vela Summers, interesting. So, what do we want to take out? Could probably... The creatures are pretty cheap. So cut down an essence scatter. Trickster can get rid of the flyers. Get rid of the ops. Spectral... F Sailor at least blocks, but gets quickly outclassed by some of the other flyers. Hmm. 
And then maybe one Brittleborn to come out. Vivian I like because it can pick off the Flyers. Let's run it like that. Veil of Summer, I don't think we want. Mind you, it might be good against like Entrancing Melodies, so we might have wanted to bring that in. Keep this, lead on island. So if we get a dodge a turn one creature, then we're in a good spot. And we have the shifting ceratops. One thing I missed when I was playing mono blue, ceratops can get reach. So it basically blocks everything in the deck. Okay, so they have Pateramander. Past turn here. Okay. Augur's fine. They get the dive down. So I'm gonna do this. Make it lose flying, and then just block it. So we gotta play either way next turn, creature or spell. Uh, I think we just get rid of Pateramander. Okay, if they want to blow a spell pierce here. Um... So we can Ceratops here, or just for Old Mystic, whatever their next play is. Let's just do this. Puts them on a four turn clock. No attacks here. Okay, so they have the Jin. Um, I'm gonna play conservative here. See if they misread Ceratops. Here we can give something reach. And sabotage. Come on, misread Ceratops. They're thinking about it. Come on. I got two spells in there. Block there. We'll just negate here because 
These will answer anything. I'm gonna start attacking in now because we have multiple counters. Opponent's probably coming to the realization they can't beat a Ceratops. This allows us to play around Spell Pierce too. Second Ceratops pretty much closes this game out quick. Give a haste. You dead opponent. You can't beat Ceratops. Yeah, read the card, bro. Read the card. This card literally reads... Good luck, Mono Blue. Good luck with your counters. It just should have a picture of Teferi getting trampled. Uh, let's run it back. I think we go same. Yeah, probably run it back. They do have the advantage being on the play this turn. They can get up their defenses quicker and get creatures under our counters. Uh, this hand's a little loose. Gonna mull again. Keep this one. Put back Vivian. So we put back Vivian there because they'll be playing more spell pierce than they would just straight creature. Okay, so they have a Storm Tamer. It's not a good draw. that on top green source uh, at least it lets us play sabotage really want a green source So we can sneak up on this, get the block there. I, 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 no attacks. Probably gonna sabotage whatever they play, to be honest. We need to draw into some green sources and quick. Keep that. Uh, they baited us. Yeah. We're not getting there. Not this game. That one was tough. 
All right. Wow, you can only lose one game? Okay, let's just play ranked. That was a waste of 2,000 coins. Let's try and best of one. I don't feel like playing sideboard matches. That really gives you nothing then for that competitive constructive. Could have cracked those two packs. So you effectively have to go 7-0 and to get the 30 packs. Uh, we'll keep this. Would have liked an untapped blue source on one. Um, we're likely to draw into another land. So this gives us the most options. This is Feather, so... We want to ensure that they are not playing. Uh, we can keep Sabotage on top. Uh, so we got punished for not playing an untapped land. So we're going to end the turn here. We can actually ambush this. Uh, so they can... Let's just counter this. I like unsummon. So they'll draw some cards there. That was actually pretty good for them. So ideally I want to get to a point where I can hold up on summon. So we'll counter that. Well, Syncopate's still worth something. Then I'll probably opt this turn unless they... Shouldn't the spell resolve? I guess you just need to target it. That's unfortunate. So it's so much sprint, they'll get another effect. So we take five there, drop down the night push ambusher. Okay, so negate's good here. So 
So negate lets us counter the Reckless Rage when they attack in. I think we're in a pretty good spot now. We will counter that. Throw a blocker in the way here. Either force them to use a spell or they lose. Alright, sweet. Okay, so they got feather. So just attack in with the night pack ambusher. And the turn here. So let's get the most information so we can sabotage. That's fine. Most likely this turn. The only thing I'm gonna counter is if they have like a God's Willing. Otherwise I'm just gonna block with Spectral Sailor and draw a card. Nope, I'm gonna counter that. Don't want the land. This kind of forces them to keep Feather back on D. Trickster's lethal. Yeah. Tempo. Gotcha. All right. Took down Feather. Feather's a lot weaker without the green. The Naya Feather list is really good. Keep losing to that one, that new two mana enchantment that scries and draws cards helps really filter. That in Spellbreaker. Uh, gonna mulligan this hand, we don't do anything till quite late. I'm gonna put back a sabotage. Uh, this hand's gonna be too slow versus uh, a mono black aggro deck. Vampires. Okay, Soren. Just gonna bounce that back to hand. Okay, well, if we can survive a couple more turns. No Mavern Fiend. Uh. Yeah. Gains life link and death touch. So I don't think we want either of those. Um.
Legion's Landing's probably fine. So we can trade with Conquistador, but I think we just take the damage. Uh, counter this, attack in. That's nah, fine. So they take the block there. Let's see if they minus the Soren to get the Champion of Dusk in. That's a good card to counter. So they redeem the value of Champion of Dusk. We'll double block here. Ooh, they leave the wolf alive too, which is good. Just pass the turn. We can surprise him with another wolf to make these bigger. Adanto starts getting big. I don't want to deal with it. the flyer now uh, da -da 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 -da. just past turn Yeah, buddy. Don't get too ahead of yourself. So, two... Okay, so we can do both next turn, and then just try to alpha attack them. I do take five damage that way. It's giving him a lot of blockers. How did, oh, they lost two life, or they lost a life. Come on, let's see if they miss block.
Any deck that can kind of drop a lot of one drops on you and get under your counter spells is going to be effective against this type of archetype. Opponent's blocking well. Those sky marchers turned out to be the uh, the cause. We'll run it back for one more. It's definitely a deck that you want to be on the play for. And opponent goes first. We'll still keep this. I like the curve of this hand. There was a play to unsummon this, but hoping Ooh, they're attacking in. Yeah, I could keep that. Don't want the negate here. So I'm going to do this now. So they don't get that ability to cast something. They'd be at effectively 5 mana. Now we're in a good spot because we can hold up Sabotage. They have some pressure on us but not a whole lot. Tricksters good. Let's see what they play out here. So here I'm gonna use this to block takes him off of mana. You call it anarchy. Me? <laughs> this ain't gonna be one of those quiet riots. Do they have a shock? Of course they do. Gains riot, so it can't be countered. It's a little unfortunate. So they're digging for creatures here, and they fail to find. Wow. I'm going to not block here. I forgot this was a 2-1. See if they... Uh, I'm going to counter this. Just to make this big enough to fight, go after Domri. Hmm. I think we're okay without Syncopate. And Essence Scatter. Okay. It's pretty good. Alright, so they waste Domri. Double Ripjaw.
So we're going to bust out Frilled Mystic. So that way we can get an attacker, start putting some pressure on them. Don't mind on summon here. Again, it works nicely with Frilled Mystic because we can unsummon. So we'll just eat one of these, it ups our clock. Now we're in a good spot. So depending on what they play out, we could either unsummon it or unsummon our frilled mystic and cast it again. gonna hold the land here here I just don't want them to keep anything It, that gives them the option to fight. We'll end turn here. So they do technically have an opening. I think I want a counter spell here. Uh, Spectral Sailor's not bad, it's a flyer. Does allow us to draw a card as well. Sweet. I'm just gonna attack with everything. That puts them down to one and we counter whatever their next play is. They can take a lands. At this point even like Carnage Tyrant doesn't do anything. Yeah, got him. Alright, so that's the deck. Let me know what you think. Uh, obviously, the competitive metagame challenge, I thought it was two losses, not one, but we played some more games with it. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and if you can, hit that subscribe button. Have a great one.